Hi, this is Diego Mangabeira, and this is the new podcast of Mind Alchemy. Let's cover our work, uh, as I seen right now, diegomangabeira.com, and now uh, you can discover a lot of things about how to manifest the life of your dreams, uh, how to create wealth and, and health inside your life using Mind Alchemy, neuroscience, and quantum physics, okay? Assessing right now, diegomangabeira.com and discover everything, okay? Let's uh, start with our podcast today. Uh, this podcast, I'm going to talk to you about uh, learn how to meditate, uh, step by step for beginners. And meditation is a ancient art of ourselves. It's an ancient art of being who we are. Okay, it's like an uh, um, uh, infinite way of discovering ourselves. And when I, I'm talking that way, I'm saying because I'm, I travel to Asia, I have a lot of masters, mentors there and also in North America, in many parts of the world, South America and Europe, Africa, uh, Australia and New Zealand. And we know today that meditation is being used in a way that is kind of commercial. Okay, like a, in a commercial statement, not uh, in the in the state that you can discover yourself. So uh, I'm going to reiterate five points that can can help you today. Uh, if you are starting, okay, uh, your meditation today, or even if you are advanced uh, meditator, okay. So stay with us. This is really important to you. The first aspect is. Focus on a single mental goal that is something you want to change your life, okay? So if you have one single mental point, a single mental point, this is related to neuroscience when we talk about the prefrontal cortex that's related to, uh, to the decision-making process, okay? Everything that you think, everything that you decide, everything that you are doing right now, even listen to me watching this video, is related to this cortex. It's related to you putting attention, putting energy in doing what you were doing, okay? When you have sex, you're doing that way. When you're reading a book, it's the same. When you're, you are working, it's the same. When you are driving, when you are learning, when you, when you are sleeping, you are using that part of your brain. But uh, not only that part, when we are talking about our heart, so uh, I, I'm ambassador of an institute in the United States called HeartMath, and we study a lot about the electromagnetic fields from our heart. So we have this single mental point in our heart as well, and we call it today as intuition, but in ancient civilizations, this was part of ourselves, okay? It's, today is like a mystic, esoteric part, an occult, occultist part of ourselves, but this is part of ourselves, this part of who we are, all right? So when you create this focus, when you create this single mental goal, you can meditate in a single way that you can understand that I'm changing my life on this area, okay? Uh, Everybody has some uh, different uh, apprehensions, different qualities, different uh, goals. Okay, I can, I, I want to manifest more money. I want to manifest more health. I want to manifest more uh, a car, a, a building, a apartment, a, a house, a trip that I want to do. Okay, so everything, everybody has different opinions, different goals. When you do that, when you create this single goal, the single mental point, you can understand, I want this, okay? I will meditate to create this on my life. So it's, it's, it's simpler, it's easier. And most of the time when you try to meditate, you hear, you heard, you, you listen to a lot of people to do this way, to do that way. And I know that because I study, I practice a lot of uh, meditation practice. This is related to the Buddhist uh, ways of doing that, Hinduists, uh, related to shamanists, related to exoteric, uh, is related to occultist, okay, because I'm an alchemist, so there are, there are different ways of doing meditation. There's mindfulness, okay? There's mindfulness, this different as, as the same. So uh, try to focus on a single one and go ahead, okay? This is the, the great tip for you. The second part is invest time in your breathing to relax your body. 
Breath is everything. When we go to the word spirituality, it's related to breathing, okay? And to breathe, okay? To breathe is related to the word in Sanskrit called Atma. That's related to the source of your life, okay? So spirituality is not a religion. Spirituality is not related to spirit. Spirituality is related to your respiration, perspiration, inspiration, <laughs> okay? It's related to the way you use your lungs, your, you use your lymphatic system, okay? Lymphatic system does uh, all the cleaning on your body, okay? Right now, the, it is working right now, the lymphatic system, just to use your oxygen and your dioxin, carbon, okay? To remove everything that can be harmful to your body. So invest on your uh, breathing right now. And doing that, okay, uh, maybe trying to swim, okay, in order to create more uh, development of your lungs, okay, lung development. You can run, you can start a, a aerobic, okay, a cardio uh, exercise that can develop that part of your body as well. Uh, the third part is related, focus on the meditation point. For instance, a picture, a sound, a mantra, okay? There, there are people uh, that likes uh, to use mantras. Okay, it's fine. Okay, that's for, for example, for instance, for Ganesha. Ungana pataye namaha, okay? Ungana pataye namaha, okay? It's, uh, uh, it's in Sanskrit, okay? It's a, it's a, it's a line, it's a mantra from, for the de deity Ganesha, okay? That's the son of Shiva and Parvati, okay? But you have, for, ex for example, songs, okay, meditation songs. You can download in any application, your app, in your Apple Store, in the Android Store, Google Play Store. You have a lot of things. YouTube, you can find that as well. Or even a picture, you can mentalize it. You, uh, uh, not closing your eyes. There, uh, there's some meditation that you do not close your eyes. That, that is kind of advanced part. That is advanced meditation because there are two focus. And you are not thinking, you are not uh, li uh, watching uh, or seeing everything around you. You are focused on that energy. Okay, sometimes it's difficult. Maybe it's easier to close your eyes, but you need to test it. Uh, all of the things that I said here in Mind Alchemy is, is test it with yourself. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I can counsel you, okay, I can advise you to do that, but try to do that. Test with yourself and and share with us, okay, what you discovered. The fourth part is related, hold the body position for at least 10 minutes. 10 minutes is a good time, is a, is a preferable uh, time that you can discover yourself, your body, the relationship that your body has with your mind, with your spirit, with your energy, with the electromagnetic fields all around you, all right? So you can discover yourself in a different state of mind. And when you have this kind of investment, you can use a timer on your uh, mobile, on your cell phone, smartphone, your tablet, your PC, your desktop, just to be really accurate uh, on that one, okay? But if you want to meditate more, okay, it's okay, all right? That's not uh, an error or a mistake, but if you are starting right now, uh, learning how to meditate, I would say that I would advise you to do 10 minutes. It's fine, okay? 10 minutes. Sometimes you say, oh, Diego, I'm not, uh, I, I tried, but I'm, I can't, okay? But you, 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 you can't in the past, okay? <laughs> you said a lot of can'ts in the past. So try to do different like right now, okay? Create sometimes a, 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 a ambient on your house, on your office, that is disposable to do that, okay? Even incense, even sounds, even uh, colors, even smells, okay? That uh, can help you with that. And practice twice a day. In, this, in the beginning, it's really important that you practice twice a day, in the morning, in the evening, okay? So when you start your day, for instance, you you got up uh, right now, so you, you st st stood up, from your bed, so start uh, meditating, okay? Or, yeah, as well, and I would advise to do twice a day, uh, before you go to your bed, okay? Before you go to sleep. Then you can create a practice, then you can create a routine 
Ó, oh, Diego, we lie, we continue with this practice of twice a day. I'm not, do, uh, I'm not telling you that. I mean, I'm telling you that you need to practice, you need to understand. It's like um, you are learning how to live, you're learning how to walk, uh, you are learning how to read, you are learning how to uh, feed yourself with food, okay? Uh, you need to practice more in order to uh, reiterate that this is important to your brain, to your heart, okay? It's like a, a status that you don't have right now. So when you establish that, it's easier for you, okay? Discover our work uh, assessing right now, diegomangabeira.com, so you can download our ebook and also discover our trainings that we have here in Mind Alchemy in uh, Mangabeira Academy, okay? I would advise you to do so right now. And if you like it, like, uh, share, and comment right now, uh, right, right now, okay, in the, in the video, in the podcast because it, it helps us a lot. And review this podcast five stars, okay? In the Apple Store, in the uh, Google Play Store, okay? Then it helps us a lot with this podcast, Spotify as well, all right? I wish you a great day of light and prosperity. I, we see each other in another podcast here in Mind Alchemy. Bye-bye, take care.